Hello, this is Dr. Leo at Lee Time. This video is especially designed for the new distillers who just start their journey to extract herbs to make their own hydrosol and essential oil. If you already have an experienced or pro distiller, then you can skip this. But if you still have questions during your work, this is also a good fundamental knowledge sharing video. I will go through the top five questions, including what is a distiller and how to do the steam distillation, what are the hydrosol essential oil, and how to store the hydrosol correctly. And also I'm going to do a practical demonstration of a distillation of rosemary by using the KD5 hydrosol distiller. If you want to know more benefits about rosemary, watch my other video to talk about the details about the top five benefits of rosemary, including hair care and hair growth. And watch that one and also talk about how to make a good use of rosemary to maximize its benefits. Okay, now let's start it. The first question is, what is a distiller? Distiller is a device help you to do the distillation to extract the herbs to make hydrosol and essential oil. Within herbs, the essential compounds has two groups. One group is non-volatile. These are the flavonoids. It has the flavor of the herb. Uh, also have the sugar, the color. And the other part is in volatile compounds. Those compounds mostly have antibacteria, anti-inflammation. It also brings the aroma, the smell of the herb, like a rose, lavender. So we are extracting the volatile compounds by doing the distillation. The second question is, what is a steam distillation? Steam distillation is different with a water distillation. During the steam distillation, the herb is sitting on top of the water. It doesn't mix with water. The water steam will go through the herb. In this way, the herb wouldn't be overcooked by accidentally when the herb falls on the bottom of the pot, so it can be burned. So it has a more uniform and uh, easy to control temperature. And that's why we recommend the steam distillation rather than the water distillation. The third question is, what do we need for a distillation? So besides the distiller, you're going to need a herb. You can use a fresh herb, either picked up from your garden or purchased from the farm. Or you can use the dry herbs. Dry herbs are quite available online. A lot of the different vendors have uh, provided a good quality of uh, the dry herbs. The second thing you need is ice cubes or cold water for your condensation. That's all you need. You can start your distillation. For KD5, it's a, a portable hydrosol maker. So it's designed for the manual cooling. Um, but for LT3000 and LT3 gallon, those two can have um, circulation cooling. That means you're going to need a bucket and a pump to pump the cold water, the ice water, into the condenser. So you have a larger reservoir to save your, you know, the work to replace the hot water during the distillation. Now I'm going to demonstrate you the distillation of uh, rosemary. I'm using the dry rosemary leaves and KD5 hydrosol distiller. The first step is add a filtered water or well water, so not a chlorinated water, into the pot. For steam distillation, you can just add uh, always to the max, just, um, you know, just easy. Um, general rule is um, add more water than you collected a hydrosol, 500, at least 500 milliliter more. So this can avoid your the overcook. And then the steamer. So as I mentioned, we got to do the steam distillation. So the herb is separated from the water. And here is a dry rosemary, rosemary leaf using the organic. If you wanna, you know, if you wanna like uh, 
add into the drink or during the cook. Uh, you gotta use the organic. Pretty straightforward, just pour it in. Pour the herb in. You don't have to always do a full cup. Um, you can do a half cup minimum all the way to the full cup. We'll close it. Now the whole setup is ready. Boiler, steamer, and condenser. So I turn on heat. The good quality uh, products, including the oil that's uh, floating on top of the hydrosol. The hydrosol is a bit cloudy because the oil also dispersing the hydrosol, especially for the fresh made. Normally, oil has a, a little bit color. Uh, for the rosemary, it has a light golden yellow color. The fifth question is uh, how to store the hydrosol. Hydrosol actually has a pretty good shelf life. I had a bottles of the hydrosol has been there for over two years. They are still pretty good. But the key points, you need to use a very good sanitized bottle. And also when you store the hydrosol, stay away from the sunlight. I like the clear bottle rather than the dark color bottle because I can see if anything change within the hydrosol. Um, you don't need to put in the refrigerator, but you can. Just to put in the refrigerator, not a freezer. Refrigerator for a longer time of storage. There's uh, no problem. I have a website, the leotalkherbs.com. Uh, there are free class. You can just sign up and there is a very good content. It can guide you through and help you make a successful distillation. Thank you for watching. This is Dr. Leo. See you next time.